Okay, Stuart, well, thank you very much for joining us. 12 months on, we're back at the Crucible. How does it feel? Uh, yeah, it's been great to be back. Um, really looking forward to getting out there and playing uh, tomorrow morning. So, uh, yeah, just really excited to uh, just be back and uh, sort of walking around the place, actually seeing my ugly face up on the field boards and everything. Uh, it's great. Um, it's a great achievement last year and hopefully we have no good at going. What would it mean to you tomorrow morning to walk down the stairs as a defending world champion? Yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's a great honour. It would be a great honour to say walk out there. But obviously that was last year. This is this year. I've got to get my, get my teeth into that match. And uh, Ali's going to be, say, a tough guy. Um, so I've got to try and settle down as quick as possible. And uh, hopefully say have a good run here this year. As you just said, Ali Carter, you've been drawn against in the opening round. Obviously, there are no easy games nowadays, but is it fair to say that he's one of the tougher draws? Yeah, definitely. He's, hey, he's been to two finals here over the sort of last couple of years, and um, yeah, he's, he's, he's maybe probably one of the people I did want to avoid. But um, say, I think the, I think the occasion might be. I'm, I'm more worried about the occasion than whoever I draw. Um, so I draw the lowest ranked player or Dink or Cobbsy or Ali. It's always going to be tough. So uh, if I can say if I can get out, get out there and enjoy, enjoy myself like I did last year, then hopefully play well. Absolutely. You're in pretty good form coming into this event, World Grand Prix final, and then reaching the fourth final of the China Open. Are you happy with where your game is at the moment? Yeah, so it's pretty similar, obviously, from last year. I got, I got to two semi finals out of three events, and as you just said, uh, a final and a quarter final. So yeah, very similar. Um, but so obviously it's got a different feel to it. As, as reigning champion, so yeah, I'm just saying, so, just really important. And of course, you are most qualified to answer this question, but how do you prepare for the marathon that is the world championship? Um, I honestly don't know. Um, I think you just got to obviously every, every shot, every match is 120%, uh, and you've, you've got to rest in between, obviously, the matches. Um, whatever happens, I'm going on, on Sunday morning get away from the place, get back to normal life, um, but then uh, obviously hopefully coming back up later in the next week, but um, yeah, it, it's tough, it's, I remember after last year, um, I remember saying to Ronnie, we've done it five times, I said, how have you done it five times, I, I, I think I was zonked out for about three weeks after, I don't say how much it does take out of you. And how much have you enjoyed the year as a whole being the world champion with everything else that's been going on? Yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's took me, obviously, I've had a sort of life out of snooker, um, all the media, sort of going to places like Fresh School, Sports Personality, uh, I've been to Wembley, watch uh, South Bend get promoted, I've been to the O2, to watch the Premier League Dark Finals, just everything. Uh, it's, that's my probably been a distraction. So normally it's just for me, just snooker and the odd interview here and there, but it's obviously a lot more of that this year and uh, say, but I've, I've been doing it every minute. Absolutely, and finally, what do you need to do in order to give yourself the best possible chance of being the first player to successfully defend their first crucible title? Uh, for me, I believe if I can come here and join myself like I did say, yeah, sort of the end of the tournament last year, uh, I think that's a big key. Don't put yourself under any pressure. I've done it. No one can take that away from me. Uh, so if I'm going to join myself and play good snooker, then I'll tell you no. Absolutely. Well, fingers crossed. Stuart Bingham, thank you very much for speaking to us. Cheers. Thank you.